Hey guys, how's everybody doing? On this dreary Sunday morning up here in the Northeast, uh, pouring rain out, it's supposed to pour all day. Uh, oh well, what are you gonna do, right? At least it ain't snowing. <laughs> um, yeah, um, thought I'd do a little update on the Vincent. I've run into a snag. I want to show you guys what it, what's been going on with this. Um, I'm gonna move you for one second. All right. Um, all right. I've been working on the triple tree, and if you don't know what the triple tree is, that's where the front wheel goes on. That uh, section there, um, the two forks and the uh, the upper part. Um, so this is what we got. There's three points of contact on this. One there, one here, and one up here. Now, you gotta put this piece in first. This piece goes in here. There's two little tabs on the inside, and then there's two little slots up underneath where that goes. I don't know if I can show it to you. This piece goes up underneath here. Okay, it'll only go in one way. Now, what I did was I glued these front two on first and to this. But the only problem with that was it left this back piece off. It was out. It was out to like here. Okay, so I got this dry for, for a while. And I went to take these pieces and try to move them into where they went. Well, unfortunately, I broke the two little pins off in the front, which doesn't really matter because it moved it, it moved it forward enough that I could get the back in. There's something they got the pins on here wrong. The pins on this side are a thing are wrong, I believe. I don't know what else to tell you why it would not go together correctly. Um, these were all molded. The only thing I did to these pieces was, you know, I'll show you the directions. These pieces come all molded. And the only thing you do is put this little piece on down the bottom like the, uh, like the shock cover. You know what I mean? That's the only thing you do to those. Everything else is already in all in one solid piece. So it's not like you put this piece on and, and, it, and you can move it. No, it, that's all one solid piece. So... Like I said, there's three points of contact, but two of them do not line up correctly. So I had to move them, like I said, and I let it dry for a while, and then went to move them, and they broke. But they didn't broken. It's not broken enough that uh, that uh, it, it looks any different. So. Like I said, this piece will only go in one way, so I don't know. Now I got to put. I had to, uh, this piece here is separate, so I, I had to glue it to the top because now I have to pull it down just a hair to get it to go in the little slot where it is, because this is where the headlight goes. So that's my glitch. Um, it's the only problem I've had so far. Um, like I said, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know why it would not go in there correctly. So if somebody else ever gets this kit um, and you build it, watch out for that. Uh, other than that, I haven't had a problem with anything so far, knock on wood. So there we are with that. And then the Lincoln, I should have the Lincoln done hopefully sometime in the beginning of this week. I only got the, uh, I only have to uh, take care of the um, spare tires. And I had to take these apart because, I don't know if you can see, these are like belts that hold the uh, cover together over the tire. Well, these were um, molded all in one piece, and the only thing you did was put this back piece in. Well, these things were off so far, I was like, they look like crap. So what I did was, I took my razor saw, Okay, and I cut these in half. I cut this whole thing in half, all right, just so I could take it and turn it 
so that I could get these things to line up. Now they look way much better. I got a little bit of sanding to do, but it looks way better than it did, trust me. These things were like really, the, the, the ones on this side were like over here. And I'm like, what the hell? You know, if, if I could see it if you glued them to two halves, but it wasn't two halves. The front piece came all together with the belts on it. And this back piece is what you put in, and there's no belt pieces on that. It might look like they are, but they're not. This this piece here slides in. So this is how it was. Yeah, they both of them were like that. I had to fix both of them. They were both really off. So I said, I can't let that go like that. It looks stupid. So, uh, yeah, we got them both fixed. We did the same thing to both of them. Cut them right in half and, and had to literally take them and turn them. So those are all set. I just got to paint them, get them on. And then uh, I'm still working on the, still working on the hood here. I had a little, I hate to use it, but the only thing I could find out to put in there was a little bit of putty. So we're going to see how that looks and works out for me. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. So there we are, boys. And then I got uh, the indomitable Mrs. Mack. Some of you guys know, some of you don't. My birthday was Friday. I turned 60 Friday. Yeah. Still trying to wrap my head around that. Uh, but anyway, the indomitable Mrs. Mac. We're going to go for a little walk, boys. I'm going to show you this. Um, this was kind of like a holy grail kit for me. Um, there's a story that goes along with this. Back in the, when it first came out, and I'm probably talking the early 70s. I don't, I'm not sure when it came out, but all I remember is my dad got it. And uh, he started to put it together. And somehow the directions to it got lost. And he, he had put it down, so he stopped working on it because he got sick and he put it all away. And a couple years later, I found it down in our cellar. But the only problem was the directions were gone. And back in those days, there was no other way of getting I mean, I wrote to the company, never got an answer back. Um, there was no internet back then. So uh, as far as I remember, the kit got tossed out. But, oh, there she is. What's going on here, shot cat? How are you? Huh? Yeah, but anyway, take this over into the light so you can see it. I almost cried when my wife gave it to me. But, uh... Yeah, this is, here it is. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Jeez, I'm going to cry just thinking about it. Yeah, my dad. <laughs> I remember he had all the horses done. He, he didn't have them, uh, he didn't have all the stuff put on. But he had them all, mostly all painted. And like I said, then he uh, started going through his heart attacks and stuff and, uh, I know we put it away, and like I said, a few years later after that, I found it down cellar. But how and why the, the directions were missing, I don't know. But uh, yeah, she gave it. She gave this to me Friday. So this is uh, this will get built. In. I'll build it for him. I'm gonna build it for him. Hmm. So, uh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, so, let's a little update. You're gonna be able to do much today. It's freaking like I said, it's pouring outside. So hopefully, maybe I can get a little bit of a little bit of work done on this. Keep our fingers crossed. So. Yeah, the Lincoln, like I said, the Lincoln, hopefully the Lincoln will be done tomorrow, Tuesday, at the latest. I mean, a whole lot to do, so maybe I can get some work done on it today. So, we shall see. Uh, yeah, have a nice day, guys. Stay dry, wherever you are, warm, whatever. Take care. Peace out.